Hello, I'm John, the captain and pilot from the Tandem Adventurers. I wanted to talk to you about this Fenzo brand seat post that we recently got for our Raleigh Tandem bike. This is more of a first impression and not a complete review since we literally just got this seat post and have only done a couple of rides on it. I'll probably come back with a more in-depth long-term review once we get some miles on the seat post and post our findings in terms of how well it works at that time and how well it has held up. So this is a user manual that came with the seat post and the first thing that I noticed as you'll see here is that it says postmodern. If you've been around cycling for a while you may recognize the postmodern brand. They are one of the Asian brands that is known for making low-cost, yet reasonably good quality uh, replacement parts. So this seat post obviously is a rebranded postmodern product. Here we can see some of the basic specs. Uh, fit saddles with 7mm rails. Uh, it's available in diameters 27.2, which is what we got, 30.9 and 31.6. Our Raleigh Tandem actually is a 29.2, so I had to shim it with a Cane Creek seat post adapter shim, which worked quite well. It's also available in 350mm overall total length and 400mm. We got the 400mm one. And it says here that it uh, comes in at a weight of 620 grams. And this weight is spot on because I weighed it on our shipping scale before I installed it on the bike. My apologies. I didn't think of taking a picture or video of the seat post on the scale by itself before installing it on the bike. You might say that we were really excited to install it on the bike straight away. It took a little bit of trial and error to get the saddle positioning and tilt dialed in and so I didn't want to remove or disturb the saddle's setting. The seat post is exactly 620 grams, like the manual says. That's only 40 grams more than a Cane Creek Thudbuster ST, a rather comparable product that costs over three times as much. Moving along to the travel, it's got uh, 23 millimeters vertical, 15 millimeter horizontal. It actually feels like it's more than that. Okay, so I've got this Venzo seat post here removed from the bike with the seat still attached. I didn't want to remove the seat for the purpose of this video because it did take us a little bit of trial and error to get the positioning uh, dialed in. As you can see here, the suspension unit is a four point parallelogram link. And you can see that the seat clamp area is an inline twin bolt cradle design which in my opinion is the best design for a seat post head um, as it's more robust, it's more durable, and your seat is not going to ever slip or move unexpectedly. This seat post gives off an appearance that this center section is an elastomer spring, but it is not. This is basically just a rubber block that acts as a plug to keep dirt and debris and your fingers out of the parallelogram linkage area. The way this works is it's basically this rear link is like a bell crank so as it moves back and down when the rider hits a bump it there's a steel rod that it's connected to that runs down through the center of the seat post and actually pulls on a steel spring which is inside the post which is preload adjustable from the end here with an eight millimeter uh, hex bit. There's also a circlip snap ring installed in the end. So um, the preload adjuster, the threaded preload adjuster can't be unscrewed all the way uh, accidentally. So we're out here at Markham Woods Trail uh, trying out this new Venzo suspension seat post. We literally just got the seat post yesterday, put it on last night, and today's our first ride on, on it on the trail, really testing it awesome. out. Awesome. Awesome seat, I'm telling you. You like it? Yeah. Good. I mean...
So here we are in the, uh, the Markham Woods Trail, Shermaine and I, on a Raleigh tandem. And as you can see, we're, we're riding over some rooty uh, terrain here. A little bit bumpy, nothing too bad. So Shermaine, what do you think about this seat post on the bike for, for riding on this single track terrain? So far it's been pretty good, um, going over bumps and everything, it's really, you know, doing very well as far as my back, I'm not feeling any pain, versus with the rigid seat post that we had, it was really, you know, terrible going over bumps. And this is really good, I'm really liking it. So this, with this one you're not getting hammered in the back so much? Nope. It's very good. Smoothing out the ride and so taking care of bumps like these little roots and stuff? Yeah. Okay, Shemaine, so how's the new suspension seat post? I mean, I wouldn't know because you're the one riding on it, not me. It's really good. I like it. Okay, I cool. Really Thank you.